Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Market channel. Today we are going to understand what is AEM authoring. This video is part of AEM authoring tutorial playlist. If you want to follow the videos in the sequence, then please go through that playlist. The link for that playlist, I will leave it out in the description box. If you are liking the videos which I am doing, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Let's get started with the presentation. Okay, so let's say there is a HTML page like this in which we have a simple text called hello world. Okay, so now in the back end, how does this HTML file look like? Okay, if I go to the code, so this is how it will look like. Okay, so the developer will write some code like this and uh, once uh, it is rendered in the browser, then it will look like this. Okay, now let's say if I want to uh, change this hello world, uh, to let's say hello Aditya, okay, if I just want to change this text, then what do I need to do? I need to inform the developer to actually change the code, okay, so actually change the code like this and then if I come and refresh here, then that would get reflected, okay, so this is how it used to be in olden days, okay, so every time whenever there is a change in the text which is being displayed here then we need to go to the developer and ask for that change so now the business people maintain this text right so generally the websites are managed by marketing team so marketing team will own what image to dis uh, display what text to display everything they know right and developer know only coding but every time a marketer wants to change the text he needs to depend upon a developer right because they are both uh, so much interlinked okay so how do we break this so how can we enable the marketer to change the text without depending on developer so that's where content management systems have come into place okay so they give us an ability to change this text without getting dependent on uh, developer so for example if we are on this uh, Amazon page, let us say we want to change this text, new arrivals in toys, then I should be able to just change it without being dependent on the developer, right? So these kind of changes CMS will enable us to do. So this is one kind of authoring, okay? So when we say authoring, we are authoring this particular text, okay? So this is one kind. So initially when we started the web development, it is all interlinked. Right. From there we just moved on and we said if there is any text on a page, the authors will be able to author it, means they will be able to change this text whenever they want. So that ability is given. Then later on this content management systems have developed more and the ability which they gave is to author this entire layout also. Like for example, if you see this one, right, uh, this box. This box is repeating, right? So all these structures are repeating. So whenever we, we do a website, right? These structures keep repeating to maintain the consistency. Okay, so if you see this box, this box size is repeating all the way, right? And you are able to scroll it like this, right? So this is one kind of structure or layout, right? Which we have given on this website. Okay, and if we scroll down here, Again, this pattern is also repeating, okay? So over the years of uh, development of these websites, what people have come up with is uh, the standards, okay? Which are called as UI design patterns, okay? So if we, if we go to this site, UI patterns, so we'll see uh, the number of design patterns which are actually applicable to a website, okay? So for example, if you are going to tabs, then it can be a navigation tab or module tab, right? If we go to content, then it can be a adaptable view, tag cloud, or even if you go here, carousal, right? Carousal is nothing but what we have seen here, right? It just moves. So this is, this is one pattern, one design pattern, okay? So the users have come up with the design patterns like this carousal and button, right? Uh, or even pagination, article list. Article list is like uh, this one. Okay, we have the cards layout here, uh, sorry, here, right? We have a layout here or here. So this, this particular list, 
how do we display this list right so these are the various design patterns which are repeating across several websites okay so they have come up with all these best practices and they have also mentioned when to use what okay so if you if you just go into this carousel let's say then they they say like uh, when exactly you need to use this carousel okay as a author you must know these things okay when to use what okay so user needs to browse through a set of items and possibly select one right they need to be able to browse they they have to click on this uh, button and they will be able to browse it uh, browse and select one in that case you use carousel okay so this problem statement as an author you need to know okay it's better if you know that okay so this uh, site is a very good site so you can go through all the standard uh, patterns ui patterns which will be used generally across all the various websites okay so this is the first step so now as a developer if i see this this thing is called as a component okay so th all these repeatable structures in a development language they are called components okay so what developer will do is he would create a uh, component let us suppose a carousel component right and that will give us an ability to actually go ahead and add this component like for example if i go back to this site earlier i told you can just change this text right so now what i am doing is as a developer i have given you all these components okay uh, given you means i have given the author uh, all these components now i am giving the author an ability not only just to change this text but also add this entire layout this entire block dynamically he can add it onto the page so that would be a game changer right in that way this entire site's layout will not be fixed as an author i can generate my own layout like for example if i don't want this carousel here let's say i want to move this up and this down then as an author i will be able to simply drag this bottom section onto the above how good that would be okay so this ability also is given to the authors now in aem okay so as an author you will be able to change the text that is one thing and the second thing is you will be able to add the components like these these blocks onto the page directly and then you can generate your own page layout and apart from that you will also be able to change the colors designs and everything so basically you will be able to create the entire website without having to write a single line of code okay so that's the ability which aem is giving to you as an author so learning to know how to do this is part of aem authoring that's it for today jai hind